So this week I finished off my course with the Princes Trust and then I got assigned a mentor and I had a chat with him. And in our meeting I was telling him all about my business plan and he gave me advice on how I can move forward. Um, and our main bit of advice that we finished off with was FUBS. You need to learn how to walk before you can run. Because I've got all these ideas and ambitions that I know will work and I'll get there 100%. But I need to practice the movements step by step until I can be that expansive. So in practice, what does walking mean? Well, or let's say metaphorically, um, I know I can like crawl and make some movements with my business but I definitely can't walk. I know I can learn how to walk. I don't know anything about running. <laughs> but I can do some movements right now. And so in physicality, what does that mean? I can do some events here and there, workshops, make some sales every month, every other month, whatever. However, I've never done anything consistently or have a consistent consistent set of work or plan around that. I know I can sort of maybe brute force some sort of events, but I don't know how that feels in practice. I've never really tried it. So my plan is on how to learn to walk with my business is to learn how to create a system of um, consistent income and consistent work etc. So the first plan is creating a plan. <laughs> that's the that's going to take a couple of weeks. I've given myself or my mentor given me a couple of weeks of a deadline. And the plan's pretty big. I thought it'd be like a two page plan. I thought that was extensive enough. But it looks like it's gonna be like a good 10, 12 pages or something. Um, yeah, something like 12 pages. Two pages and there's two pages in the introduction and there's 10 more sections to get through. And there's like a page on each. But I'll have fun. I already know most of the answers. I just need to write it down and format it properly. So there's that. Um, and in the plan, I'll be writing um, all my knowledge about who I am, what the business is, what the business means, who my customers are, what my product is, how I'm going to market to my customers, how I'm going to get my product physically to my customers, how they're going to physically send me money, um, what effect do I want my product to have on people, what does my business stand for, and stuff like that, what my motivations are, there's a lot to write in there. Then, and my particular thing that I want to steady up first, um, definitely my online shop. And the online shop will require marketing and marketing materials. So that's photographs, that's copies, so like little captions underneath the photograph describing the product, that's videos. Um, what else could it be? So I can do photographs. I can write copies, videos, I don't have the hands for it yet, but hopefully I'll have the hands for it in a couple of months. For me to sort of gain the hand strengths, I'm going to go back to the physiotherapist. I, my forearms are definitely better, they get a little bit tight, but that's kind of normal. Um, and they sort of heal with a little bit of stretching. So my forearms heal fine and the last bit is just hand strength. So we'll 
double check with the physio to see how to focus on that. Apart from that, um, and that will let me create videos and marketing content. Is it necessary to start on my online shop? No, it is not. Um, so I'll probably get started with that anyway. Whenever I get started. Weeks, weeks in the future. Apart from the online shop, I want to start local workshops. Sort of training, not training, um, having a fun experience with people in person and teaching them how to make paper craft. So just going through a craft, through my craft kit. Um, I do have an idea to sort of teach people paper craft, but I'm not exactly how to format it or make it exciting, especially business wise. I would really like to teach people though. I'm considering just making YouTube videos, but it's nice to teach people in person, isn't it? I'll see. So there's that, one, two, three. Um, I'm inspired to teach paper craft because I really like the School of Philosophy that I'm going to and um, their course is like £10 for the term. <laughs> it's so cheap, but it really grows people. So, yeah, I'm not too concerned about things being too expensive or whatever. I just want a little bit of money so I can travel. That would be fun. So we've got those, that's the shop, the, the online shop and the workshops. The third thing would be, it would be nice to stock at um, craft shops and anime shops. Before I do that, I do want to get packaging. And in order to get packaging, I need a graphic designer. And in order to sort of get packaging and to get a graphic designer, I need money, so that'll come through the grant. Um, so we'll do that after the grant, probably. Uh, all I need to do is ask somebody on how to get packaging, and I do know a contact. So that's three things, and the fourth thing is going back to Comic Cons. Um, again, that's after I get money in the bank. That'll be after the grant, but that'll be so good. It would be nice to sort of travel to a Comic Con, that would be so nice. Oh my gosh, that's what I should spend money on uh, traveling out to do a Comic Con. So, those are my four plans on how to learn. That's a bit more than walking. I have each doing one of them consistently, just learning how to run an online shop, that's learning how to walk, and that's my goal. My goal is to learn how to walk and um, learning how to run my online shop. That's enough of a focus. That's a whole system. Um, and I think I can figure it out through making a plan. And I'll be making a plan earliest on the weekend, um, like starting to make it. Um, and I might work on it during the week. However, I'm finding it's fun to sort of um, take the week as a break and work on the weekend. Not fully in the weekend, but like, I am enjoying taking it a little bit more relaxed on the weekdays and having a little bit of time on the weekend just focusing on some work. I'm not sure, it feels a bit nicer, it feels a bit easier. So that's the plan. We'll see where we are in a couple of weeks' time. But this week, I did a ton of work. <laughs> got a new heater then. Got a haircut. Still going to the gym. Finished my Princess Trust meeting. I've got a cra crazy couple of calls in the next couple of days. I don't want to think about. It'll be fine. Everything will work out. And I'm just focusing myself. Sort of Keeping a good mind, keeping healthy, keeping happy, chilled out. I'm saying very minimal effort, but honestly, this is real. I'm actually doing a ton of work. <laughs> From the inside, it feels like minimal effort, but I have to understand 
MDLT. I'm doing so much work every day. So I should smile, be happy, be proud of myself. I'm doing great. And I'll catch you in the next one.